That's what, second, third time I've made that stupid miscue? You know what, Digby, don't think about it too much. Yeah, see, I remembered you were going to throw that at me this time. Oh, come on, I hit that ramp like 15 times the first time. Alright, giant spinny, holy... Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back banging balls for the first time in quite a long time. Because, yeah, those of you that have been with the channel for a while will know that we used to actually have pinball on here as a regular thing. And then, of course, some, like, pretty heavy-duty IRL stuff happened, a.k.a. the relationship I was in at the time ended, and I had to, you know, kind of find a whole new place to live. And when I moved into the new place, I found myself kind of not really in the mood to play pinball as much. But anyway, yes, I have actually been craving pinball really bad lately. So I decided I was going to go try and find a few new tables, and I was going to bring the series back for at least one more episode. And the one that I have picked to play today is, as you can probably see right up there at the top, yes, we are going to be playing the Masters of the Universe Mastered Edition, which I believe is the... Uh, Cherry Red Pin Event mod of the original, I want to say it was Slam Tilt that made this table. But anyway, yeah, it's made by people that we know for a fact are really good creators. It looks like a really fun table to play. I have had one practice run with it, and I did okay. So yeah, hopefully we'll do pretty well with it. Now, I should say in advance, this one is not a three ball table, it's a five ball table. Which is ordinarily something that I, you know, when I do my own private personal edit of these tables, I fix. Or at least adjust, because I'm kind of an old school pinball guy. I really like three ball tables for preference. But anyway, yeah, I decided I was just going to leave this one as a five ball table, because other than that, it plays beautifully. And I absolutely cannot wait to play it, because I was always a big fan of He-Man when I was a kid. So yeah, sit back, enjoy some childhood memories, and as per usual, we've got three quarters, we've got all the time in the world. Let's go play some pinball. Okay, we've got a castle multiball, we got a He-Man multiball, we've got a four ball multiball. Looks like apparently there's a nine ball multiball in this somewhere. Holy crap, okay, well, fingers crossed we're gonna be able to set off a multiball at some point. <laughs> oh, and fingers also crossed that we don't end up doing a Digby. Okay, we have got a custom game room, apparently. We've got some He-Man posters, we've got custom back glass, apparently fully custom DMD. It's actually extremely loud. So enjoy the little uh, animated thing here for a second, and once it's done, I'm gonna go adjust my volume before we start the actual game. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Greyskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Alright, that is so much better. So, really quick, let's have a look at the table. What do we got? We have got... Okay, we got lock one, two, three, He-Man multi-ball there. Apparently the Ripper two-ball is up that channel. Then the Castle two-ball is up in... Oh, like up at the top of that ramp somewhere, I assume. And then we've also got a Super Score thing, which if I remember right from reading the, uh, the rule card things. Yes, thank you, uh, Adam. I appreciate the interruption. Anyway, yeah, there's some kind of neat stuff going on up there as well. Alright, this actually looks like a pretty cool table. So, yeah, let's check in the first quarter of the day. And let's see how we get on. Alright, so not too fast, not too slow. Just about what I like. We've already got one ball locked. Whoop, did not realize he was going to chuck that at me quite that hard. Alright, ramp's pretty easy to hit. 
Not so easy to hit twice. Don't you dare get down the middle. Alright, I don't know if that was on a shoot again or not. We're just gonna have to kind of hope that it was. And it says, I think, we've still got four balls left there. So, just have a quick peek at the DMD. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Wow, I didn't think that was ever going to come out of the bumpers. Alright, ramp shot. No, absolutely not. Uh, yeah, here's a thought. How about we... Yeah, slow it down a little bit, go for the ramp. Kind of like that. And now the ramp is blocked off. Alright. That's fine. It looks like there's a castle gate or something in the way. Uh, can I, uh... Yeah, you know what? Keep it in play and we'll worry about catching it afterwards. Well, crap. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got three balls left, so that was not actually on a shoot again. Alright, that's fine. Let's just sit here and wait for the bumpers. Well, you know what? Not a lot I could do about that, but that's fine. That one was a shoot again, so no big deal. I was gonna say, geez, any time you want to come out of there. Alright, let's see if we can get either the ball lock or the ripper two ball. There we go. I'll take that. Note self, Digby. It's gonna come back at you at about a thousand miles an hour. Okay, I'm not seeing the ball locking here. What am I not doing correctly? So I'm pretty sure I put four balls up in there already. Nope, you know what? That's fine. Maybe we have to do them in order. So I'm supposed to go for either the ripper or the castle. I have a feeling if I get it through the little hole in the uh, big green gate up there now, I will actually trigger the multi-ball. Oh, hold on. The spinning thing up the middle is live now. Crap. Oh, of course I lost it once I got everything going. Okay, that's fine. Quarter one is always a learning experience. Wow, that did not stay in the bumpers anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to. Okay, I want to go for the castle gate, please. No. Wow, you don't get a lot of wiggle room on that. You really don't. Okay, we're going to shoot for the castle gate and the ripper multi-ball if we can. Slow down, stop. That looks like it's got to go right about there. Okay, I actually had the shot pretty tight, but we didn't quite get a good bounce. Yeah, how many times can you get close to that freaking castle gate and not actually get it in the castle gate, do you suppose? There we go, we're in the castle gate. So is that now live and active? Ball lock still isn't really doing a ball lock thing. That's fine. I want to go up that ramp now. Come on, baby, come on. Nudge it. Ah. All right, that was about as close as I could get to that thing and not actually get it. And yes, I do see the big spinny thing up the middle is open again. There we go. Not sure what that did. Apparently not a whole lot. Yeah, come back down. Let's go up the uh, multi-ball ramp. Wow, that's like... Five shots I've had on that now and still haven't hit it yet. Alright, back up in the middle. No. Back up the ramp. No. Back down the middle. No. Yay! Alright, we're in the bumpers again, which means we're probably going to be there for a while. Oh, for God's sakes, Digby. Pay attention to what you're doing. Alright, you know what? I'm not sure what we got for a score just then, but let's uh, figure it out. Digby C. Caesar, end. Yes, please. Alright, 2,182. I don't feel like that was that terrible. Alright, you know what, Skeletor? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Next time we do that, I'll let you have your speech. Okay, quarter number one went pretty well. Quarter number two, let's we'll see if we can uh, put into practice all the things we learned in the first go. I'm not going to pay as much attention to that ball lock as I have been, but I am going to keep going for the ramp, because that did, I mean, at least it did the castle gate and did something. Wow, I am going to weak sauce that every time, apparently. How about we don't weak sauce it? How about we get up in there? I was going to lose that for a second. Okay, spinny thing wide open now. So, there we go. Hello, not sure where that came from. 
I'm thinking that's probably another ball walk up in there. So if we can get the ball back up in there again. Yep, another weak saw shot. Well played. And straight down the middle, of course. Guess what, second, third time I've made that stupid miscue? You know what, Digby, don't think about it too much. Yeah, see, I remembered you were going to throw that at me this time. Oh, come on, I hit that ramp like 15 times the first time. Alright, giant spinny. Holy! Did not expect that to happen. There goes one. How many we still got in play? Three? Out of what, a million I think we had at one point? Alright, well, let's keep racking up the score. Focus on them one at a time. All you can do. It's gonna take me forever to edit out all the keyboard clicking. <laughs> and down, and down, and I think that's it. Alright, that was really unexpected. Ugh, give me a minute, let me get my breath back here. You know what? That's fine. I feel like uh, we actually got a pretty good score on that one. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm going to have to actually watch that in slow motion to see what happened to the ball just then. It looked like all of a sudden it was in two places at once. And thank you, Shoot Again. I really appreciate it. Because if the table's going to screw me over on stuff like that, it's always nice if the table gives me the ball back. Did you really try and do that three times in a row? I feel like maybe, just maybe, we should slow it down a little bit. So, uh, oh, I say that, and then all of a sudden the giant spinny, wingy thing is open again. Alright, shoot again down there is good. Yep, slow it down. We're gonna go for the ramp. Let's get em. Had enough oomph this time. Alright, we got the gate back up. Went in the gate, but didn't have any uh, oomph. Alright, that I thought was actually gonna go back into the... Uh, shooting lane, but it didn't. Okay, I got the thing in there and nothing happened this time. I'm not sure whether to be happy or disappointed about that. Holy crap, alright, we went through the castle. So once more up the ramp. Hopefully that will do a thing. Not sure what happened there. Oh, okay, now we've got two locked in the He-Man multiball. Yeah, this table seems like it's really, really easy to get multi-balls going on. You know, assuming you can, oh, I don't know, hit the ramp on occasion. Oh, come on. Just give me a thing. Give me a thing. Not... Pretend I didn't swear just then. <laughs> There we go. All right, we got three logs. So is that enough to trigger it, or do I need one more in the hole? I think we got to have one more in the hole. So let's. Uh, all right, we'll do for the ramp on that side. We'll immediately flush it away, but that's fine. Shoot again is lit. Okay, you come back down. No, I want you to come back down a little bit, uh, a little bit slower. Thanks. There we go. Okay, come on, Diggy. I know you can hit that ramp. There you go. Castle gate is back up. We hit the middle thing. Right through the castle gate and not quite enough power again. Alright, let's go for the ball lock. Nope, miss that. I'm going to end up missing a lot more things than I hit. But you know what? Eventually, we'll get that in there. Nope. Third time's the charm. I see another ball in play. And thank you, shoot again, because I immediately flushed that one as well. I say I flushed it. Technically, the table flushed it. It's fine. You still got to shoot again. Uh, don't tell me shoot again went out right before the ball went through there. Well, guess what? We just hit the He-Man off the ball, so what do you think of that? That is apparently what it thinks of that. Alright, I'm assuming because it's blinking that we can set it off now if we just hit it one more time. That's going right back down the middle. No, it's not. Excellent save, Digby. Excellent save. Now, if you can just hit He-Man right in the shorts. Kind of like that. Hopefully that'll set off a multi-ball. Oh, please have less balls than the last one. Hey, 
And just like that, we're down to one. <laughs> and now we have none. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a Digby. Okay, what do we still have doable here? We haven't done yet. We've got the Ripper 2-Ball Multi-Ball we haven't hit yet. We've got the Castle Gate we can still shoot for. Yeah, if you want to stop putting that down there, that would be brilliant. Okay, nice save. Take that. That's not the Castle Gate. That's the Castle Gate. For some reason, you still can't manage that. Oh, crap. All right, well, here we go again. It is amazing how quickly 10 balls can become one. Quite frankly, I'm just surprised we didn't actually lose that one at the same time. Alright, take a deep breath, Digby. Let's get it back and done. Okay, I feel like we probably did a little bit better than uh, the 2.1 million we got last time. Survey says 80 million. Alright, I'm actually glad I remembered not to interrupt him this time. Anyway, yeah, I think that actually said we were in rank one. Okay, well, unfortunately though, that's probably the best one we're ever gonna have, so... I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be a quick in and out. I mean, I'm not feeling all that confident, but you know what they say. Hope springs eternal. Twelve seconds later. And down he goes. Uh, Alright, yeah, I knew that one was probably doomed from the beginning. However, I'm not going to complain because we had an absolutely brilliant run. That was rank 6. Can I please see the high scoreboard? Okay, apparently yes, we do have the number one score, which is absolutely 100% awesome. I think that might be one of the few tables that I own that I am actually in the number one position on. So yeah, when it comes to like original pinball tables, it is really hard to find a good one. And this one here is easily one of the top five original pinball tables I've ever played. And yeah, I mean, if nothing else, how can you go wrong? It's He-Man. And on that powerful note, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed Masters of the Universe in this episode of Banging Balls. And yeah, not only do I hope to see you for the next one, but in the words of He-Man himself, 